okay so i think we were discussing about exclude my tableau also got closed accidentally um okay let us create this once again let me record the session also it's already in progress so let me create the calculated field let me rename this as exclude level of detail expression so in order to write any level of detail expression you need to have the curly braces i would say exclude say category and if i take average of sales and close this what do you think this function would do we can write any function i have just like that written one exclude function what do you think this function would do it would calculate the average sales and also it would exclude what category from the calculations wherever you have category in the view it would exclude that and then calculate the average sales similar to include right here we are trying to exclude now let me also create a nested lod nested uh, level of detail expression let's write nested that is we will take average sales and we'll subtract it from average of um exclude category and then i would say the same expression i think i have written this average of sales I'm just checking on whether I got it right or wrong. Okay, exclude category average sales. Perfect. So, do you, do, what do you think this particular function will do? I've anyways written it here. If you have average sales, and if you subtract it from the average of exclude category of average sales you want to calculate average sales but you also want to exclude the category and then take the average of that you want to subtract it from average sales what do you think will be the end result do you know what this would calculate this it would calculate the difference between individual category per year average sales and overall average sales we can try it out okay so let, let me do this let me quickly show you a simple visualization let me drag the order date and place it here on the column shelf let us also drag category and place it here now if i simply drag and drop the sales here this would um, 
I'll choose average sales. So we have the average sales here. And now if I drag this nested LOD and place it here, let me also drag this and place on color. Not color exactly. Can probably place it on nested LOD. How is it getting calculated? Now let us try to understand this. This is average sales for each year, right? For this furniture category of 2011. So all you need to do is, I'm going to first of all, clear the filter. Now, if we select only furniture, it's average sales for only furniture in 2011. So I'm going to look into 2011. Where is order date here? here. We are going to select only for 2011 and you have the sales for that. If we take the average of those sales, It is 229, all right. Now, what are we subtracting that from? So here I got the average sales for furniture. What is this value all about? This is going to calculate this nested LOD function that we have written. It is going to calculate the difference between individual category per year average sales and overall average sales for that year. So what is the overall average sales for 2011? Just remember this 229.7. Say it's 229. Now we want the average sales for 2011. So I think we need to consider all the categories for 2011 and if we calculate the average sales, let us see what we get. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Where are those values? It is 242 here, average sales. Now, what is the average sales for? Furniture. You need to just copy the sales. Let's see. Let's see here. I'm getting the same value, so different values different. So if we take average of these values, what is the subtraction of this from this? It will be approximately what? One thirty one, maybe. Yeah, that value is given here. 
So here is the expression, here is the value, just in case you want to know how it's calculated. So we have taken average sales for the entire year 2011 and we have subtracted it from average sales for a specific category. That is what your exclude function would actually do. And it is not, unlike your include function, it is not looking into your average of averages. It will just return the average sales for the year. Here it is not going to give you the average of these averages. I have a question. Yeah, yeah, please. So uh, the f um, second expression where we say exclude category, uh, average of sales, uh, we, are, we have to exclude the category, right? Uh, so it will give average of sales for every year, right? For the uh -huh. second expression, average sales, because we, we have to exclude the category. Hmm. That means we don't do it per category. We just do, do the average sales per year. I mean, I don't know if I got it right. Yeah, yeah, you got it right, actually. Average sales per year, that means 2011, there is average sale, which is that 373 value. Yeah, uh, which, exactly. And then uh, for you do that for every year, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2000, whatever, those four years, and then do an average of that, right? This is the second expression part I'm talking about. Which one? Um, are you speaking about this expression? Yeah. No, no. Um, the above, the top one. Yeah, the top one. Sec yeah. The hmm. average exclude category average sales. So first we'll do exclude category average sales, which is the average sales per year. That's what the result will be because we are, we are not taking category into con consideration, right? So look at this. Then, what is average of sales here? For average of sales, what it is doing is it is considering the average of sales for entire 2011. Okay. And um, one second. I thought average sales would be for all the years divided by no, no, not all the years. Basically, here you have for each and every year, right? Yeah, okay. So for each and every year, it is separately calculated. Okay. Right? So, what this is exactly trying to do is, it is trying to take the average sales for each and every, um, what is this category, basically. So yeah, for year as well as category, both. Yeah, that exactly. number. Th this value, average sales. Now here yeah. you say subtract it from average of sales by excluding all the categories. Hmm. So if you say exclude all the categories, it is going to consider for the entire 2011 year. Right. Right, so for entire 2011, what is going to be the average sales? That is what it will calculate. And then it is going to subtract from the average sales of uh, one particular category in that year. And thereby you get the end result as 130.4. Getting me or is there still a confusion? I think I'll have to look at it again. No, no, look at this. Don't, don't worry, look at this. So when I say average of sales here, it is looking into average of sales of furniture. Yeah, that's the number. 373 is the number. Yeah, can you turn on the text actually the, so that we see the numbers, right? I mean the Excel sheet? text. I mean the, no, 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 the ABC on top so oh. that we see. The values on yeah, so yeah. that we see. yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. So the first one, three seventy-three, is the um, average sales for every category. This specific furniture category. Right. So it'll be three seventy three yeah. minus what? Three seventy three minus three seventy. What does the second expression say? Exclude all the categories, right? So right. when you say exclude all the categories, and then look into the average sales. Yeah. What you're trying to do is you're saying look into the average sales of all these three years. Why three years? Because you are telling exclude category, don't include those categories. I want to yes. consider this entire 2011 as one entity. Okay, and then you got that number 229. Ha. Huh. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, I think if we we would have another chart which shows exclude that expression separately, then we can see clearly. Yeah, but I think I got it. You got it. Right? Yeah. And then we got some 242 point this. If you subtract these two, you will get that one.